Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to you at last. I am Stalosa and welcome to Overanalyzed, our beautiful Overwatch community coaching series. Okay, today we're going to take a look at a gold Winston player. Let's play this while I read you the email. So the email says this. Hi Stalosa, I want to get coached so I can get to plat and continue climbing. I think I have the ability to do this, but someone analyzing my gameplay will really help me. I am a main tank, tank main with a decent Zen and an okay Anna, but I mostly play Winston Ryan in my comp matches. Uh, I can play Zarya Hammond, Zen and Anna too. You seldom get too many main tanks in a gold game. Thank you for reading this and I hope you'll analyze Let's my go. gameplay. Let's go. Okay, well, I guess let's start off like this, right? Let's just explain the ranks in this game because the rank we're in here, gold. Gold is the average rank in the game. So bronze rank, players kind of don't really understand Overwatch at all. They don't understand the hero's abilities. They don't understand the way the maps works. They don't really understand the objectives. Basically, bronze players just need to play more of the game to get familiar with it. There are some extreme examples where you could have people who are just so bad at aiming and timing of abilities and whatever, where they'll always be bronze. But most people in bronze will generally get out of it after they've played enough games. You just need to get familiar with the game. It's the same with anything. Like, if I just went away and started playing Dota 2, I've got no idea what any of the items do or whatever, so I'm going to be really bad until I learn the basics. That's bronze. Silver, you understand the basics, but you've probably picked a hero that you like. So you just play this hero regardless. You still don't care about team comps. You don't care about ultimate usage. You don't care about literally anything about well, having a good time. Then here it gets funky because then we finally get to gold. Now, gold is where you start to get serious. This is the average rank, right? The players in this game are average Overwatch players. So what do they know and what don't they know? Well, these players make a ton of mistakes, loads and loads of very basic mistakes. They use their abilities at the wrong time. They use their abilities maybe too fast. I guess you could say that's at the wrong time. They use their ultimates at the worst possible time going. They play the wrong heroes for certain team comps. They never combo ultimates together. It's very rare. Like a very easy way to get out of ranks like this. I'm not, I'm not saying go out and do this, but if you're an Ana and a Genji, you just duo and all you do is nanoblade over and over again because the, the, the enemy team, I guarantee, will not select Zen to counter the nanoblade, will not do anything to try and counter it. They will just die over and over again to it. So you'll generally get out of that rank pretty easy. But that just goes to show you that it's easy to get out of gold if you've got some sort of synergy going on. However, gold players are sort of like the raw putty to be molded into actual Overwatch players. And I guess just to wrap this up, we go forward into Platinum. Platinum players, uh, they tend to understand a little bit more about team comps. They tend to generally pick a hero that's going to suit the map and the team comp they've got, and probably to counter the enemy. So you'll see things like uh, if the enemy don't have any hit scan, one of the DPS players, for example, uh, on your team, let's say they were playing Soldier, they might swap to Farah because they think, oh, hang on, the enemy can't actually shoot me. So if I play Farah, I can do free damage. Things like that, that start to happen in Platinum. Uh, however, Platinum still suffers with ultimate combo problems. It suffers with like communication issues. It suffers with people just throwing the match. As soon as like one fight is, is lost, everyone starts throwing. It's, it's pretty, a bit of a hellhole. Then you go to Diamond, which is arguably worse than Platinum because in Diamond, you've got a lot of players that are really good. And I mean this sincerely, really, really, really damn good at their hero. So they understand their hero fantastically well. They probably watch loads of pro guides. They watch pro stream. They watch Overwatch League. They think they are the best Genji, the best soldier, and they are held back by their teammates. It's like, oh, everybody's throwing the game. It isn't me. The problem is these players don't know how to combo ultimates still. They still don't really understand the meta because they're just playing the hero that they want to play, that they're good at, and they don't really work together in a team. Then you go into Master. Master's a weird one because Master, you either get diamond mentality or you get low GM mentality. So you can have a master game where everybody works together. People understand the meta and it's fine. But then you can have another master game where nobody seems to understand what's going on. Everybody's doing what they like and it's really frustrating. GM starts to become more stable. Mid GM, now that's the highest I've ever, I remember the highest I've ever got in this game, I think was, God, what was it? It was like, it, it, I think it was just under 4.3K or it might've been just over 4.3K. This was back in like season five, I want to say. Uh, it was with Winston um, and I was in top 500 for about two games and then I fell out. Um, that was the highest I ever got. Now, that was solo queue as well, by the way. At that level, people understand the meta and people are really good. But then above that level, I mean, mid GM is like, ugh, but then high GM is like really, really good players. And then you start getting into top 500 or whatever. And that's like whatever. But yeah, gold, average player. So I think that probably explains the rank. So let's just get stuck into this. Uh, team comp wise, uh, I'm going to say your team comp's okay. Oh, we've got primary healer, we've got this. So let's focus on Winston gameplay. So what we're looking at here in this is looking for basic mistakes and just trying to cut them down. Cut down the basic mistakes. 
you will win more games. That is literally it. Now, what I'm expecting you to do here is just completely YOLO into the enemy team with Winston because you're just like, whatever, I don't care. I'm just going to go straight in. My team will support me, then I'm going to die. Remember, we've got a Lucio and we've got a Mercy for healing. So we need to be a bit careful here. We can't just go in and expect ranged heals. We're going to have to come back and get the healing. Okay, so we take the high ground first. Uh, one thing I'm noticing already is this gameplay footage is a bit laggy. Uh, the quality isn't the best, but it looks like it says 49 FPS uh, in the top left. You need to lower your graphics quality. Lower the render resolution if you can. You've got to get them frames. You've got to get at least the 60 frames a second as you are severely handicapping yourself. Okay, so let's see what we're doing. We'll use the pillar for cover. I don't mind that. So what I like so far, right, everything you've done so far is totally fine. You haven't YOLO'd into the enemy. You, you haven't used your jump to engage, which a lot of Winstons do. Then they just tend to get stuck and die. And you've just sort of meandered onto the point. This is fine. Yeah, we've taken damage, whatever. Diva, 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 diva. Nice, poop, nice poop. That was awesome. Down. We should be Fish. getting healed, though. Lucio, Lucio, Lucio down, Lucio down. Lucio one. Okay, everything I'm seeing so far is fine. This is totally how I would have Arisa, played Arisa. this. This is totally fine. Arisa. Arisa, so, down. good comms Lucio, as well. Take care about the boobs. Okay, let me just explain good comms, because in last week's Overanalyzed, I was slating the person for like giving me a YouTube commentary. We don't want that in the game. You, though, are calling out targets. Lucio's low, Lucio, Lucio, Lucio. This is exactly what you need to do, right? Diva, 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 Diva. Oh, no, that was a nice boot by Lucio. Nice boot, Lucio. That's a bit of encouragement to Lucio. We carry on. These are comms. These are the comms I like to see, especially from main tanks. Tarbion, Tarbion. It's fine. We, Lucio, push Lucio, we can Lucio. put a shield down. Like, yeah, we're going to put a shield down. We're fine. Oh, that's an unlucky. Okay. This might be considered being a little bit aggressive, but let's just see how this plays out. The we one. Yeah. You see, you're a good player. You see, you see what I mean? You see what I mean with gold, like what I said earlier on? Gold is like, you start to understand the heroes, and you start to pick heroes you want to play with. And, yeah, we'll... Yeah, this is good. We're keeping them pushed in there. And then we pop our ulti because they're all together. You are literally making me so happy. Like, I, you know, I said at the top of this video, we're going to see a lot of minor mistakes. We haven't really seen any mistakes so far. You've pretty much played this perfectly, but it's not going to last, is it? It can't possibly last. This is, this is beautiful. Because remember, we're still in control of the point here. Oh, mind you, they're capping the point, so we don't really want to let them cap. Hopefully we can stop that. Yep. So we know that we can double jump after Winston as well, which is good. These guys are basically dead on the point. Genji's invested his blade. Which... Okay, all right. So we're losing the point here. The plan here is just to literally keep the point contested as long as possible, not let them flip it, which they did. So if we just go back a little bit and watch this play. So we're actually, you know, we've done a lot of killing here. We can put pressure onto people. Here, I just want you to keep zapping them. Just zap them all. Like, don't disengage too much. You jump back in, you're zapping, you're zapping. This, this here. This is like a little bit of a minor mistake, right? Now, I know Genji's using his blade and you're probably frightened of that, which is fair enough. But really, you should have just gone back in there, to be honest. Everybody's dead. We've just got to keep this alive as long as possible. It does get flipped, which is unfortunate that we instantly die. I mean, to be fair, there's not really too much you could have done there anyway. Even if you did what I said, you still would have died really quick. So, let's just take a look at what's going on on the screen here. So, uh, we've got a Reaper. Whatever. Like, the, at this rank, all I really care about is that we've got two supports and a tank and a main tank. These other slots can literally be anything, right? So long as we've got this, which is like the holy trinity of Overwatch, one main tank, two supports, we're probably going to be okay. The enemy team, do they have the same? No, they don't. So the enemy team are actually heavily screwed here because Brig and Lucio is not enough healing to keep anybody alive, really. Uh, they're going to suffer. So in any, like, prolonged fight, they're going to really suffer. So what would I be thinking as a Winston player looking at this? Well, I'm thinking, all right, we've got sustain here. We can out-sustain these people. So if the fights go on longer, that's going to be better for us. I mean, we've got Reaper as well as a DPS and Roadhog. They can both heal themselves. So this is super good. We've got uh, gold damage here, which again is really good. This means you've just been involved in a lot of damage. You've only got one in limb, but we don't really care about that. Um, you've been getting a lot of cleave damage. You got your ultimate really fast. You use your ultimate at the right time. Everything was played perfectly. So question is, where does it fall apart? Because it has to fall apart. There is a reason why you're a gold player, and we're going to work out why. Uh, Roadhog, come back. Okay, so calling people to group up, this is good, because we, what we don't want to do is pe see people trickle uh, in. See, these guys now have pushed way too far forward. This is go time for us, and I think you've just about to identify it. I get the Genshin break. They're all yep. low. I come from Ben. Nice pick. Now, um... I mean, one little, one little kind of 
nitpicky thing there is when you landed, you could have punched. The reason for punching when you land is you do faster damage than you would do with a Tesla cannon instantly. So if you land, you do the land, obviously land and it does damage, then you punch them. So it's land, punch, and then you start tesla -ing. That's actually a little bit more faster damage. If you just land on them and start tesla -ing, you're still going to do damage to them, obviously. And obviously it'll do more damage long term. But for that very short Winston burst combo, the land and the punch is actually quite good. Uh, it wouldn't have made any difference there, but you know it's something you can work into your rotation. But pr so long as as soon as you land, you immediately do damage. Fast and points, fast and points. We're properly. Yeah, fast points. Hear me, hear me. You've identified that. We've got me. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We're looking for a disengage. Hear me, please. Hear me, please. We ask for a heal. Nice. All of this is I'm good. I'm on top, and I'm on top. We jump in. We shield. Torb is down. Torb is down. Can't bubble it. Everything is beautiful so far. You've you even telling them you cannot bubble the diva bomb. I got on the Genji. Genji yeah, low. Genji yeah, yeah, low. yeah, 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 yeah. So the one thing I'm I'm a bit worried about with this gameplay clip is I hope you haven't sent me in the best game you've ever had ever on Winston because we all have an exceptionally good game every now and again. It doesn't matter what rank we are. Take care about the recipes. Okay, so we've lost. All right, what we what we doing now? What we doing now? We've lost Reaper. We are engaging on top of them. Now, I'm yeah, this is them. totally fine. We can actually all into this as well. Like the reason why I was going a little bit there is we know they've got an Arissa, so Arissa could pull us, but we also know that Arissa used her pull anyway. So we could jump in there. The problem with diving into this is there are two heroes here. There is the Diva and the Arissa that could potentially shove us over the edge. And if we don't have our jump available, well, we're just going to drop down and die, which is not great. However, jumping on top here is actually the, the big brain play, and I, I'm glad you did that. So you jumped up there, tesla them, so got massive cleave damage. Now we've got our ultimate. So all we're looking to do now is push them away. Winston's ultimate is one of the best tank ultimates in the game. Uh, I guess you could say Earth Shatters up there as well, but the thing with Winston's ultimate is you can control a lot of space with this. And right here, you can just smash the enemy back. Like, what can they actually do to you here? So you're just going to pop it and go straight in. At least that's what I hope you're going to do. So a little bit delayed, but we're going to get uh, massive the rest of Lucio. Yeah. So we win this fight now. Uh, I say that. Is Genji going to legit kill everyone? The Genji is low. I tried to stay on point. Okay, that's super unlucky. That is really unlucky. I'm low. Yeah, you're dead. Actually, I don't know. You, nice, you maybe have survived. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Hear me, please. I'm Shield really down. low. Okay, you could disengage from this now because think about it, right? Even though keeping the point alive is main priority, we literally have 45 HP. We've got our shield down. What we should do is get the hell out of here where we know it's safe. There's a health pack down there. We could get, uh, possibly we could go inside and get that health pack as well. But we should be looking to disengage here or at least get back to our supports if any of them are coming from this direction. But be aware, there are enemy players over here. So we don't want to take damage because if anyone looks at us, we're dead. Wait for Thanks. the jump. See, that was that was fine. Uh, All right, Baby Diva. <laughs> so this is good. This is a bit nitpicky as well. Baby Diva isn't exactly the primary target in this fight, is she? <laughs> so for Baby us Diva's jumping onto Baby fun. Diva, ah, we've lost this fight anyway because they they've got control of the point. It doesn't matter though because we only need one more fight win and, and I we can basically get win. My soon. Yeah, you're doing the right thing. You just. Uh, I, I disengage now. I would honestly disengage. This point is lost. You're trying to get primal, which is a good good move. I disengage from this. So that, this is feeding. This is feeding. Because think about it, right? What actual, what actual benefit have we got to contesting the point? So this is actually the first point in the video you've made, like what I would say is a pretty notable mistake. We've got 99% on, uh, on the point. They've got 48 We're trying to get our ultimate, which I think is what's happening. You're clouding your sort of vision with like, I must get my ultimate. The thing is, what you're doing is you're feeding the enemy team ultimate. Remember, main tanks feed loads of ultimate to the enemy because while well, you're taking loads of damage, they're getting loads of ultimate charge. What we've just done here is we just, well, we're feeding. If we don't die now, it'd be a literal miracle, but we're dead. I mean, they're starting to heal us. Top is low, the top is low. I don't know why you're not dead, to be honest. I actually don't know why you're not dead. I. <laughs> this is probably going to turn around. Nearly. Uh oh. I'm low. They got sound barrier. <laughs> well, they use sound barrier. That's good for us. Yeah, we can win. We can win. Uh, anyways, pick up, pick up. Okay, let's just go back through this again. So, 
this is the actually this is the very point where I was like disengaged. So I had to disengage from this. The reason for that is that fight is lost, right? The enemy team are on the point. They've pretty much got control of it. However, what happens is, and we don't know this is going to happen because nobody on our team tell us, is we actually get a lot of ultimate investment into this. So you go back in and immediately pop your ulti as soon as you get it. But also, look what happens, right? Mercy comes in. She pops Valkyrie in the point. Top Bit slow, top we pop our ultimate straight away. We knock off, low, we almost knock the Arisa off, so that's unlucky. We go back onto the point. We're just flailing wildly. We we're actually giving them more ultimate charge than if we just died. But they did use sound barrier, yeah, so that's actually in. a result come for in. us. And then we go back in. So here, going back in, it is like, okay, this is our second bite of the cherry. It's We're, we're eating way too much, and we're going to suffer. Uh, anyways, pick up, pick up. This is kind of the problem with Winston. You need to be on the edge all the time, but then know when to disengage. And I've always said you are better off being more aggressive than being passive. And like you are being a hell of aggressive in this game. And, and I like that because it means you can rein it in. Because the advice I've just given you there is like, look, sometimes you can think, okay, instead of being super aggressive, what's the big brain play right now? I don't want to feed the enemy all charge. We've probably lost the point. We're on 99%. So we only need one more fight. Let's get back together as a six and attack them as a whole team. See what I mean? Yeah, but I don't mind else. that you were aggressive. So this is where ultimate planning comes in. Remember, it's gold, so... Um, Genshi, the Lucia is on the high ground. I'm on the Lucia. The Lucia is pretty low. The Diva's on me. See me, please, see me. I like the way the Mercy was damage boosting you. <laughs> Engage with Nod. Engage with Nod. I mean... Okay, so target priority, good here. We're on the Lucio, he's nearly dead. We're about uh, to kill him. Uh, let's it up. We're into the point. Remember, that, like, oh, they've used Tor. Oh, oh, God. Um, back off, back off. Okay. The enemy used three ultimates there. Bomb, Tor, Blade. It's sad because we're probably going to lose the point now because we've got. there's no way we can literally get back together there to contest that. Okay, it's unlucky, right? But your statistics, as, you, as you're looking at, are obviously really good. Now, one of the things with this, it is a little bit of an alarm bell when a tank does have gold damage, gold eliminations. Not so much for Winston, because you'd expect Winston to be involved in a lot of the fights. This is where you have to fight against yourself, because this can cause you to be like, my team are bad. My DPS are throwing the game. I'm doing everything I can to win this game. And I would argue you essentially did 95% things totally right in that round. So everything you did there, there's only really like minor changes you could have made and still would we have lost the round? I don't know, maybe. Because Overwatch is a team game. That's always going to be the issue with Overwatch. If, if these people do not pick up the slack, then you're just going to lose. But remember, if you keep playing well, more often than not, you'll win more games. So that, that, that was really unlucky. unlucky. Really unlucky. Your, your comms are really positive as well. Like, I want you as a main tank in my game. Okay, cool. So let's go forward. All right, so we're on well. Uh, we've got some comp changes there. Now, what I will say, talking about meta and talking about understanding the meta and talking about gold and all those different ranks, I think in your email you say that you play... I uh, don't actually say you play Orissa. This is an Orissa map 100% because of the well. <laughs> you can throw people in the well. You want to just get to the point, set up, and abuse the well. Orissa is the main tank on this map. So higher ranks, the main tank player, even if it's a Winston player, will play Orissa because it's just more effective on this map. Same goes for like Nepal Sanctum, for example. You know, or they might play a Reinhardt. A Winston, you know, he still works. He still works, don't get me wrong. And, and, of course, let me just make this very important point, which you do make a lot with Overanalyzed. It, you might be completely hopeless with Orisa, so then you actually have to play Winston, which is a fair thing as well. You should be playing the heroes you're better at, but understanding what heroes are better on certain maps is a huge point, especially for main tank. Uh, get, get there, Diva, 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 Diva. Okay, so uh, do we really need the shield Diva, Diva. in there? Nice. Probably not. Nice, nice. We could have used the shield now. See what I mean? We didn't need the shield. Like, one diva that's about to be demacked. We don't need the shield. We could have then put the shield forward there and been more aggressive on those guys because they're actually rolling the Orisa still. Uh, she's going to be an issue. We're pushing forward. Hog's been sucked down Lucia the well. Lucio, yeah, it's fine. They're both in the well. Actually, they're not. Lucio, no. But they will be dead. That's fine. Nice. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, add team comp, whatever. We've still got two healers and we've still got a main healer. So I'm cool. 
Okay, so back at the diva. She's slow, she's slow. Picking up stragglers is obviously huge. Now with diva, we're just looking to D Mac diva and leave the baby diva. Let's see if you do that. Could... Yeah, it looks like we actually want to kill her. Actually, no, I don't I'm know. Low, I'm low, I'm done. No, all right. So you did D Mac and then tried to disengage. Don't go too aggressive. No, no, we can go aggressive here because we're actually quite a few players. Look, I think we were two up. We've lost you, yeah, but Torb's just... Uh, Lucio's just killed Torb. So I wouldn't be too worried. Like, you can get back to the point quick as well. And you seem to... You flick jump? Yeah, kind of. So you understand Winston's mechanics. Like, the only thing we've not seen in this game so far is the old Winston spinning. Like, as you jump in, spin. So your head hitbox is smaller. But you only t the tend to do that against, low. like, uh, hit scan heroes like uh, Widowmaker Arisa, or... Arisa, Arisa. You know, Arisa. like a McCree or something. Honestly, this enemy team is really disorganized. The, the reason why we're winning this round so hard is they're trickling in. So the left, all we're left. doing is taking advantage of this. But like, we're hitting them as they come through. So let's just go back to the idea of the plan. What the hell is the plan? Somebody's trying to get on the point, whatever. Well, it doesn't matter. It's one guy. We literally kill it. Now we've got to think, where do we set up? Where do we want to be to hit the enemy as they come in? And and the thing is, the enemy are answering these questions for us now. I mean, that, that diva is horrifically... Out of position. Uh, oh, I don't like that ultimate. I really don't like that ultimate. We didn't need to do that, did we? Look, we've, we've won this fight Oops. and we've popped the ultimate. We know we've done it though. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Cool. But remember what I said, you're being highly aggressive and this is good because you can learn to be more chill as time goes on. I like this. This is actually really good gameplay. Can you, can you low, can you I just fear that you've probably sent me one of your better games. Because like I'm trying to think like what have we seen as an issue so far. We've used the bubble in questionable times. Uh, we've been a bit too over aggressive sometimes. We yeah, our shield use is fine there. It's 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 kind of it's a decent Winston play. We're communicating well with the team. We're jumping in and out of combat. Okay, we should chase that. You should, okay, you should always chase the blade and Genji in situations like that. So this has I'm been a bit of a, a, a rocket nice. stomp, that is. That's just like, uh. okay, let's go forward. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, okay, let's go forward again. Let's see if we can find any like major gripes. Because the problem with these kind of like overanalyzed clips is, I wanted to look at a Winston player and I wanted to look at like an average Winston player, and I kind of don't want people sending their best clips to me, <laughs> you know? Because it's like, yeah, okay, you've had a good game. I mean, this might not be. This might just be your average game. I find that hard to believe because I think you are playing Winston quite well. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at what your engage is. So, just look at what's going on here in front of us. Now, we know we've got a kill. So, this is good for us. Their DPS is gone. Their Reaper is gone. A Reaper can delete us. We don't like that. We can see their Winston. We can see somebody there. We can see their Diva there. The play here is actually to be quite conservative. Is We walk forward and we just use this. We use this statue. We chill. We zap a little bit. We zap a little bit. It's cool. It's fine. We're a man up. The thing is, if our team start pushing, right, we can start pushing as well. So let's see what you do. The worst move here would be to jump in. And honestly, most gold Winstons would just dive straight into the enemy team here. Complain about being killed straight away because they've got no support. So let's take a look at what you do. Okay. All right, so we're going to jump um, in. I'm on the soldier, soldier low. Soldier's running away. Nice. We kill him. Team we're piece. sort of stuck in the back. We're going to actually get out somehow. Okay, so that's lucky, right? Get the mana, get the mana. It's... Let's just make this point because it's actually huge, right? That is kind of the, the right and the wrong thing to do there. So we're a man up, which means that we should be aggressive. The whole team should push forward. This is what would happen at higher ranks. The tank would go, I'm going in, dives in, everyone goes in. My comments to moving forward towards the statue and using it, like, you know, being a bit more chill, we've got a player up, let's just see if the enemy make any stupid moves and somebody's out of position, then we can hit them and kill them. It's more conservative, it's safer to play. You went forward... Your team kind of went forward with you. We pushed on the soldier. Junkrat killed the soldier, although we probably would have killed the soldier anyway. And then we managed to get out. Now, that could have easily have gone bad. They could have maybe done something just to knock us back. Something could have happened there. We could have threw our life away. We still probably would have won the fight, though. Get the run, get the run. Lucy first, Lucy first, Lucy first. Cool. Yeah, that's the call. Get the Lucy, get the Lucy. This is the real one. Yeah, you, you can finish Lucy. Good, good, good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's unlucky. That's much. unlucky. Anyways, good job. Now you could like again if I'm nitpicking, you could say the well, shield was a waste first, there. But... First. Leave, leave her. Leave the diva. Hello. Nice. What can actually? What can we do now? We can find the widow and kill her. 
So I'll tell you what I'll do for the rest of this clip. Let's just go through like what I'd be doing right now. So I'm, I would have left a diva. Right, okay, I'm going to find this widow. I'm going to kill her. I'm going to find this widow. I'm going to kill her. Not the Lucio. I'm going to get the Widow. All right, the Reaper's with us. I'm going to back off. I'm just going to chill. I'm going to take up a position and wait for the enemy to push in. I'm still going to try and... Like, what I'm going to do is keep my eyes over here, right, for Widow. If Widow goes there, I'm going to kill her. If Widow goes there, I'm going to kill her. I'm just going to kill the Widow, right? Because I don't care what the enemy team are doing now, because they seem to be messing about the Widow whatever. is uh, under right high ground. Okay. Yeah, I'm going for the I Widow. All right, I'd be careful. I want to be careful here, though. But I can stay up here. No, no, no. I'd stay up there. <laughs> I'm joking. Let me take a drink. Oh, my God. Ah. Mm. I'd stay there. I'd stay up there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't drop down because the point's okay. But whatever, nice. I drop down. Okay, now I'm thinking I've got my ultimate nearly. The enemy team are coming in. 10%, I can get that before I die. So what I'm going to do, right, is just I'm going to YOLO straight in. I'm going to jump straight into the enemy team. I'm going to land, going to punch, going to Tesla, going to shield. Well, I'm going to, as I'm jump, jumping in, I'm going to drop my shield in the air. Then as I land, I'm going to hit them for damage. Then I'm going to punch them. Then I'm going to start Tesla in. Then I'm going to pop my ulti and just knock them absolutely everywhere. Because what I'm trying to do here is give us more control of the point, yeah? The enemy team, they, yeah, they've got like a Genji who could maybe use his blade. My ult would be good for getting rid of the Genji. I could boop him away or whatever. But I don't care about that. I just want to be super aggressive, right? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump straight in, get my last 10% and engage on him. So you're jumping in. I'm on the... Um... The Reinhardt is kind of like whatever, but he's out of position so we can kill him. That's fine. We're going to bubble that. Oh, God. We should have bubbled that bomb. We let Junkrat die. Sorry. Hang on. Did we not have a wall? I'm on the... Uh... We didn't have bubble. I apologize, you didn't have bubble. The decision there to drop the shield on the Reinhardt. I mean, it's okay because we don't know what's going to come through there, right? I, I mean, the Reinhardt is way out of position. We're basically blocking off damage or healing if it was an Ana coming through to that Reinhardt. So it's kind of the right thing to do. Diva bomb. Yes, you could argue that. Right. Yes, we should have expected the Diva bomb right now. We should have been looking out for Couldn't it. Bubble it, sorry. But hey. And this is just clean up. We're on the Lucio. And by the way, your sensitivity looks fine as well. The the way you're moving your mouse um, is totally Reaper, fine. It's on me. We, we don't care about baby. We just don't care about baby diva. We literally ignore baby diva, right? Just kill the reaper. The reaper is behind us. I don't like that. It's a waste nice. again. So you've wasted your ultimate twice in this game so far. At the reaper. Now this is really nitpicky, but wasting the ultimate will. Nice job. It will matter, like, as time goes on. Uh, we can smack this Widow. We, we wanna f me? Where is she? Where is she? Find her and kill her. I'm on the there Widow. All right, whatever. We got Coalescence out of her. That's totally fine. Look what's on the point. Yeah, we're going to go down well, onto the Can Reinhardt now and just help our team. Hear me, please, hear me. All right, we need to keep the point alive as long as possible. Imagine if we had our ultimate now. See what I mean? Could have kept the point along for Liver. Uh, could, could it, along for liver? Live al along. What? Along liver. There we go. Al alive longer. There we go. What the hell? All right. So we just got to regroup now as a team. I'm on the comms. I'm like, guys, regroup. Just regroup. We just need to get back together. I'm on the model. We're not as a full team here. So this is this this is actually feeding. Huh? But we'll see what happens. This is Diva feeding. Diva saw me. Diva saw me. The Reaper is just standing... <laughs> Reaper's got his ult. That's what he's doing. He's going to use his ult. Mm. Nice. He, it's really messy, this we is. Can we can win this fight. I don't think we can. The right is low. The right is low. Actually, we can now. Oh, we can't now. I was going to say, we can. We kill that more, but then Amora dies, so we can't. So, whatever. We just... I mean, you're in at this point. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to disengage, it's fine. Nice. Good pick on the widow. Okay, we can go in. We can go in. See, I'm a little bit worried, right? Let's just go back to, to this this hole that like, we can go in. Hear me? Just look at the kill feed, right? Our Moira is dead. Diva, Their Diva, Moira Diva. is dead? All right, but our Moira is dead. Their Widow is dead. Nice, good pick on the Widow. Okay. Okay, we can go in. We can go in. We can go in. But what happens here is we go in and we just sort of... We get fixated on Lucio. We're very deep in the enemy's lines here. And this is going to be very difficult for us to do anything. So we're in. We're on the Lucio. Like, where's our support here? We don't really have any. Our Diva's dead. We pop our ultimate. Now, 
I would not use my ultimate here, simply because it's going to be very difficult to get any kind of value from it. When you use Winston's ulti, yeah, you can look at like juggling people into the into the walls and trying to kill them, knocking them off maps and stuff. The thing is here, we're not really, like, it's going to be hard. It isn't a full team uh, that we've got. It's also not a full team that the enemy's got, but people are kind of spread out. It's going to be difficult. And if anything, we're just like a massive ultimate battery. See, so like, yeah, we're, we're booping people about, but we didn't really actually do anything. So if we didn't use the ultimate there and just carried on with the Tesla cannon, we actually probably would have done more damage. Because, like, booping people back... Like, the Winston melee uh, in the ultimate, it does a considerable amount of damage, really. And when he's nano-boosted, like, a nano-boosted Primal Winston is, is insane. Thing is, though, it's only insane if you're bashing people up against the wall and you're literally, like, you know, you're doing a bit of this, like, like your boxing training or whatever. You're not doing that here, though, because you're just booping them miles away. So, effectively, you'll do more damage. Well, not effectively. You just will do more damage with the Tesla, just tesla in them, unless you could, like, juggle them up a column or something, which is, like, probably not going to happen. So, again, we've sort of wasted our ulti there. So, we're going in. Dave's coalescence. Good run, good run, good run. I mean, we just good basically... Good run, good run. Okay, let's just see what you do. Nice. Lucio, Lucio low, Lucio low. Okay. Diva, Diva low. Baby Diva. So the only time we kill Baby Diva is when she's on the point contesting it, right? We get rid of her. Like, if they've got the point cap. Okay, good. One thing I want to ask you, though, right? What ultimates do the enemies have? Like, what ults have they got available? This is, like, during the downtime in games, you've got to be like, okay... What else do the enemy have? What's the plan? So we've just won the fight. Okay, what we're going to do, guys, I'm I'm, I'm going to push forward. I'm going to do this. You don't even have to tell your team that, but you've got to think, what are you going to do? If you can see you've got a grab diva bomb combo, you go, okay, we're going to grab and diva bomb them. That's the combo. That's the plan, yeah? Here, though, we need to know what the enemy have got, right? What ultimates have they got? We know they've used Coalescence. We know they used Reapers all a while back, but they've probably got it again. Reapers just killed our Reinhardt. It's going to be really close to that. Diva bomb, they have definitely got diva bomb because I've not seen that for ages. So. Things we're looking at here is Winston is what we're going to do is maybe we save our shield for Diva Bomb. Unless we absolutely need to use the shield. Oh, sorry, sorry. He's just camping. We've used our shield. Uh, he's got a ult, he's got a ult. Nice, 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 nice. He is through the game there, that Reaper. That Reaper should have disengaged with his team. I don't know why he was there. That is just such a poor decision. So Diva's probably going to bomb us. Shield's down. This Reaper's literally so bad, but... He Reaper's is bad, so strong yeah. And slow ranks. Give me, please. Where's this diva bomb? So at this moment in time, I don't really care that you're just walking around zapping whoever, because like we've got such an advantage here on the point, it doesn't Get really matter. I I honestly don't know where diva's bomb is. Like, yeah, we just use our ults at the end of the game, we win this. Now, Reaper, what happened Reaper. there is they're reaper through the game. So I'm gonna say that this match. Had to reaper, nice. Run, 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 run. I think nice we play pick. quite well. Nice. And if you carry on, yeah, like this has to be like a you've sent me your best game. You've got to have done. I can't believe that this is every game uh, of you in in this rank. If it was, then you would not be gold. I'd I'd say like what I've seen here. This is honestly, this is like diamond level Winston. I'd say, um, which is probably a huge compliment. But that's if you play every game like this, right? Maybe you do. I don't know. Maybe Overwatch is literally that bad that you just get screwed by poor teammates over and over again. But well played. Like, I, you can easily get to higher ranks if you keep playing like that. If you go back and watch this video again, you'll notice that how many actual, like, problems did I call out there for you? Like, that were just glaring issues. A couple of ult usages, a couple of shield drops. Kind of it, really. There wasn't really, like, any... I was expecting a lot of crazy Winston just, like, uh-oh, YOLO, we're going to jump into the enemy team and then go, like, guys, where's my healing? When you've only got, like, a Mercy and a Moira and you're, like, so far in the back line, there's no possible way they can heal you, right? But you didn't really do any of that. So that's actually pretty good. My issue is maybe Winston is the only hero you can play. Like I said, I would have liked to have seen Orissa on well. But, yeah. All right. Guys, I've been Salosa. This is Unit Lost. If you guys enjoyed the video, then remember, you can send a clip in for consideration to appear on this series if you follow the instructions that were on the screen at the start of the video and are on the screen now or somewhere around now. Anyway, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like the video, leave a comment below, follow me on Twitter, which is at Salosa, and uh, join the Discord as well, which is discord.gg forward slash Unit Lost. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you lovely lot on the next one. Toodaloo.